Hey y'all, I'm Caroline and welcome back to the garden. It's still cold outside, but believe it or not, it's time to start thinking about your spring garden. Whether you have tried gardening and failed, or maybe you've always wanted to, but never known how to get started, or maybe you're an expert gardener and you just wanna double your garden this year, I'm here to help. Gardening does not have to be complicated. It can be pretty simple and that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna show you some simple tips for gardening this year. There are so many great, amazing reasons to become a gardener and I'm gonna tell you about them. Here are some health benefits of gardening. It keeps you active. It's a great source of vitamin D, helps boost your immune system. There have been studies that have shown it cuts the risk of heart attack and stroke and prolongs a life by 30%. Inhaling bacteria that lives in the soil can actually increase levels of serotonin and reduce anxiety. And then it's a great stress relief and positive sensory stimulation. In addition to the health benefits of gardening, there are some really great nutritional benefits. It gives you access to fresh food and you know where it came from. You're led to eat seasonal foods, which is better for the body. And then it's free of all those preservatives and chemicals that you would find in the grocery store. As if that wasn't enough, you will have some financial benefits too. Yes, you will save money by building a garden. There is not one way to have a garden. So many ways to grow your own food. And here are a few ways that you can think about starting your garden this year. If you have good quality soil, you can make your garden directly in the ground. If you don't have good quality soil and want to create a way to keep the weeds out really well, a raised bed is a great option. Keep in mind, you don't have to make this very tall off the ground. Six inches is plenty of depth. Before you put your soil in, cover the bottom with cardboard to smother the grass and weeds so you don't have a lot of weeds. The other option is to go with a container garden. This would be a great option if you don't have a yard or you're renting and you just have a sunny balcony, put your vegetables in pots. Another raised bed option to keep in mind if you don't have a sunny backyard or maybe you don't have a backyard at all but you have a sunny driveway, you can put your raised bed directly on concrete. All you need is about six to eight inches of depth, cover the bottom with filter fabric and fill it in with soil. All right, as you begin thinking about where you're going to put your garden, how you're going to become a gardener, there are a few things to keep in mind that every garden needs. You must have six to eight hours of sunlight at least and well-drained, good quality soil. If you're buying it at the store, be sure to get raised bed garden soil, not potting soil. This is such a great time to get started on your garden. I'm in zone seven in Tennessee, so Make sure you're looking at what zone you are in and when it's time to start your spring garden. But next week, it'll be time for me. Uh, and I'm gonna walk through a pretty easy, quick growing vegetable to get started with that a lot of people like. So tune in next week, subscribe to the channel and comment below if you have any questions or things you want me to cover, your favorite vegetable, whatever it is, I'm here to help you. Uh, so let me know how I can. I'll see you next week. Thank you.